Hello everyone and thanks for joining us today. In this video we're going to show you how to manually close a roof on an Audi RX Spider. We'll start by showing you what tools are provided with the vehicle. So I've just lifted this cover off from the bottom here. So in the front of the vehicle you've got the air compressor. We'll just remove that and put that to one side. Remove the towing eye and you've got a screwdriver which we're going to use right now and the allen key the lugs and the bolts we're going to use later as well as the wheel brace starting off we need to make sure all the windows are down so if you come around to this side now both windows are on and the rear glass is also halfway up so let's take this window down the door windows rear glass we're going to take that down using the allen key and the screwdriver so in order to take the rear glass down we have to drive it manually through here. There's a little cover here. I don't know if it's visible on the camera. Just turn that and remove the cover. Okay, hopefully that's visible. We'll leave that just here. Insert the Allen key and then you push it forward to disengage the gear. You can then operate the rear glass manually. And we'll take this all the way down for now. The next step now is to open the engine cover. I'm, going, I'm just going to move the seat forward. We now need to open the engine cover. You can do this two ways. You can either turn the ignition on and use this switch here. Just in case that's not working, there's a manual release here. We'll just pull that and that's open the engine cover. You can tuck that back in. So it's, once the engine cover is open, we have to release the hydraulic pressure. To do this, remove the key and hold the roof close button down for 10 seconds. I believe that's about 10 seconds. You can now proceed to unlocking the roof cover. To open the roof cover, there's two bolts. One over here and another one behind the power steering reservoir. They give you a very difficult to use 10 and 13 mil spanner, which will do the job, but I'm going to use a ratchet spanner to speed things up here. So you're gonna screw the bolts in clockwise. I'm not gonna record the whole thing, but we'll screw this one in the left and then we'll screw the other one in on the right. Now we screw the bolts in, this cover is now loose, so that you can lift it. You can see I can lift it up and take it back. So I'll do that. I'll close the boot, the engine cover, so we don't end up with an issue with the damage in the paintwork. Now, we do need to pull this back parallel, so I'll get in the front of the vehicle and I'll just push it back from the middle, like that. The next step is to remove these flaps. Normally they would rotate and go in, but as we're closing the roof manually, we'll have to remove them. In order to remove the flap, you need to remove this 10 mil bolt here. You do get your 10 and 13 mil spanner, but we're just going to use a 10 mil ratchet to make life easy. So we'll get that in and just unscrew the bolt. Make sure you don't put the washer. Pass me your side now. And again, just wiggle it off. Okay. We're now ready to take the roof out the storage compartment now. You could do this with two people and pull it out like this, but there's only one of me here. So I'm just gonna take my shoes off and stand in the middle of the seats and just pull the roof out. 
Now this should come out nice and easy with minimal effort. Okay, just bring that to the front of the windscreen frame. We now need two plastic lugs, the bolts, and the wheel brace. Okay, we've got two options. You can either use the plastic cam and the bolt. In our experience, this is a bit cumbersome and also um, they tend to break. But if you were going to use these, the way you're meant to is you take this bolt and you take the cam, put the bolt through the cam and you screw it in. You do exactly the same on the other side and in theory you take that and you push this up which then pushes the roof forward at the windscreen frame so if you just look at the windscreen frame you'll see as i'm moving the tire lever it's pushing it forward an easier way is just to get someone to push the roof forward while we lock it at the front okay so this is where you want to lock it by turning the hex key in here you'll operate these forks there and there. So flat base screwdriver, just get that in and pop the cover off without dropping it like I did. And uh, just get the hex key in here. Now, if you look, as I turn the hex key, it operates the forks here. Now, if we just push that forward, uh, we will be able to lock it over here. So I've currently got someone pushing it forward on the left and the right. Now, if I turn this key anti-clockwise, and you look in the gap, it just closes the fork. So anti-clockwise, and now that's locked to the front. If you were using the plastic cams, I've just fitted this side and that side after locking the roof at the front. Um, this is a position they'd be in, but typically what happens is as you're pushing them up, um, you tend to just snap them over here. In any case, now the roof is locked at the front. You can now release the cams and unscrew the bolts. And we'll just do the same on the other side. A bit noisy that one. Okay. With the roof secured at the front and the fins up, you can now push this cover closed. So just take that and make sure you push it nice and parallel. Bring that forward. Yes. Now that's closed. We now need to close these. Now, if you push one, the other one goes up. So we'll start with this one. We'll bring that down and then we'll lock it from the inside. Same tool as always, six Milan key. So the scrub screws over here. If the camera can come in, you just see it over there. And now the camera can go back out again and I'll use the Allen key. And as I screw this down, you'll note it should start taking that fin down. So just help it and uh, keep screwing that in and you'll see it'll lock the fin down which also means it'll keep that cover secure we'll do the other side now so again push the fin down i've already got the allen key in position here as you hold the fin down turn the allen key clockwise it's a bit stiff as you've got Loctite in there. Okay, that's secure. Then use the manual key to take the rear window up. Remember, push it in and then turn it. So with the rear window closed, fins locked down, cover closed, uh, turn the ignition on and uh, just close the front windows. And then you've um, successfully manually closed the roof on your Audi R8. Now we purposely haven't shown a part of uh, unscrewing the bolts at the back there, which we originally screwed in to unlock the deck lid because the whole point of those is to keep the deck lid unlocked. Um, they only lock hydraulically uh, and if it's left in, at least when you do get the roof repaired, which is the only reason why you have to close it manually, uh, you can actually open that easily. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you did like our video, please hit
like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.